The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink Community TV, its sponsors, or partners. Technology's cooking experience. Welcome to today's episode of Mama G's Cooking Experience, where I'm going to show you how to manipulate products that you wouldn't necessarily see on everybody's everyday plate. So our title today is Awful is Not Awful. We're going to talk about chicken feet, we're going to talk about gizzards, some chicken hearts, a pork heart, we've got some turkey liver, and we have some pork liver. But let's get started with chicken feet. Here, we throw away our chicken feet, and it doesn't make any sense. Lots of countries everywhere use them on a regular basis. But I only like to do one thing with them. I just like to make the best gelatinous, gelatinous stock ever. So you buy your chicken feet, and they have these little um, uh, chicken fingernails. I'm sure they have their own uh, title. So take a pair of your regular uh, kitchen uh, scissors and just cut them off. They just need a little bit of effort and just pop them into a pot of boiling water. Here, let me see. Maybe probably better with a knife. Yep, that's easy. Just pop them off and get them into a pot with boiling water. Boop, see, there we go, waving at you. Put them in the pot. All I have in my pot is cold water, some dry thyme, and some uh, um, uh, marjoram. I'm gonna put in an onion for flavor. Now I'm not adding anything else except for the feet and the onion in there because you want a nice clear stock, okay? Then we're gonna move on to gizzards. Gizzards are quite, They're a handful to clean, guys. I'm not going to lie. They're a little bit of work, but at the end of the day, the end result is the best. So here I have a bowl of white vinegar, and I'm going to put in about three tablespoons of salt. I'm going to take my gizzards, okay? I'm going to put them in my white vinegar. But Mama G, why are you doing that? I'm doing that so that the acid starts to break down the silver skin that's wrapped around the meat nugget, and that way when we go to take it off, it's gonna be a lot easier to manipulate. Perfect, we're gonna let that sit for five minutes and let the vinegar work its magic. Over here on our chicken hearts, I'm gonna teach you how to manipulate a chicken heart so that it looks like this, like the pork heart. We're gonna show you how to clean and take all the veins out in order to eat it. As well, I'm gonna take a few minutes to show you how to properly clean a turkey liver and a pork liver. Look at the beautiful color of this pork liver, honestly. The darker, the better. That's what we're gonna do today. So, let's get started on these chicken hearts. Chicken hearts, you have to cut open your chicken hearts, okay guys? Some people just throw them in a pan and hope for the best. I want you to see here, there's all of these cavities and these veins in here. And what you wanna do is you wanna take off this skin at the end, right? You want that off, you wanna look on the inside and it's gonna look, honestly it looks like an olive, like a Kalamata olive. But you just want to open it up and see that it's just no, no, no veins. Get all that stuff out. See, you're going to see these little blood pockets. Get them out. Once you've cleaned them all, you're going to rinse them off with water. And we're going to show you how to do that one after. Then, same thing with your turkey liver. Your livers, they have little parts, but they also have these uh, veins that you just kind of want to gently lift and pick off and squeeze out any of the blood on those. And the pork one, very simple. Take off your extras. 
put them on the side, feed them to your chickens if you have chickens at home, you can cook them up, feed them to your dogs. Don't be afraid to stab it because we're going to be slicing this stuff up. Right? Look at that. Just nice and easy. Don't be afraid of this stuff, guys. Just because you don't know doesn't mean it's not delicious and doesn't mean that it's not good for you. This stuff is extremely good for you. If you have iron issues, buddy, this is the way to go. So when we come back, I'm going to show you how to cut things up and how to manipulate them into some really delicious dishes. Mology's cooking experience. Kitchen and recipe ingredients provided by Seasons Pharmacy and Culinaria, 815 Lawrence Street, Sudbury. cooking experience okay and we're back so let me see let me show you the liquids here as you can see the vinegar and the salt have dissolved um, most of the parts on here so I'm going to show you how to cut one of these gizzards now that it's all been uh, properly soaked in and you're going to smell the you're going to smell the vinegar so this has three little meat chunks in it, meat nuggets, we're gonna call them. So you're gonna cut off on the big sides, okay? And then I want you to feel, you're gonna feel like it's, like there's a piece of um, cartilage in there. Don't go, don't worry about it, just slice off that part there. Look at that nice, beautiful red piece of meat you have in there. I'm gonna throw that chunk back in there, and then you're gonna do the same for these little sides over here. Now guys, I understand. I understand that this is a lot of work, but you know, back in the day, nothing was ever wasted. And in a world in which we are living now, everything is so fast paced and so gotta go, gotta go. You know, just take the time, be one with your product. You know, the more love you show it, the better it's gonna taste. So see, it's just three little pieces no problem nice and easy and it's a lot easier to manipulate once you have soaked it into the vinegar and salt solution now i've also manipulated these uh, hearts and i brought over a bowl of clean water i'm going to take these and put them in my sink and i'm just going to continuously let the water run on them and rinse them so that way we can have a non-vinegar tasting product. Three or four times, let it sit in the water and rinse itself out for a few minutes, it'll be good. You're looking for a clear water after. So I've got my bowl here. I've cut up my hearts, so they're all halves, but look, there's blood chunks, okay? So take all your hearts and put them in a bowl of nice, super cold, fresh water and we're just gonna like scrunch them up and try to squeeze out those little blood chunks out of there you can leave them in you can eat them they're not gonna hurt you uh, you just might be like mm, what's that flavor that's the flavor now this big one here see like the blood dries up it gets in the cavities just give it a little slice it's all good right boom like that now this big heart here this big beautiful pork heart so beautiful so it's got like bigger veins which is very easy to manipulate boop 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 just cut us out there we go we'll cut this out now I have in my famous yard sale pan over here, I have some of this stuff. But what is this stuff? This is smoked pig skin. 
So I got a pig, I butchered it, and then I brought over some chunks over to Torini's because they soak it and then they'll smoke it for you at a really good price. I just put it in because I want the flavor of the smoke to go into the flavor of my hearts. So once you melt all the fat off of it, oh, it smells so good, it smells so yum. Okay, so I've got that nice fat in there for flavor. Now let me pull out these chunks of pork. Doo -doo -doo. That's nice and clear. That's gonna be nice and clear. Perfect. All right, taking this stuff out here. Cause we're gonna make a quick dish. This stuff does not take a long time to prepare. Okay guys, this is like fast fry. This is the fast fry. So I've got about, it looks like the equivalent of a good table, no, teaspoons worth of smoky pig fat in there. I'm going to add about two tablespoons worth of butter for delicious, creamy, sweet flavor of butter. Ontario butter. I am a big fan of the Farquhar's butter, salted butter, because it's delicious. Okay, so I got that happening. Here you're gonna see I have some dehydrated mushrooms and I've got some sliced up onions and garlic. But we're gonna start off by making a roux. What's a roux? A roux is 50% fat, 50% flour. Doesn't matter how much, as long as it's equal parts. You're gonna be looking for the consistency of like cookie dough. It's pretty good. So I've got these nice and soaked, all the bloods out of them. I'm gonna give them a quick strain. So to cut the heart, okay? To cut a nice big piece of heart here. Let's get this all off. I'm gonna cut it into some nice, some nice slivers. Oh, it smells so good in here right now. Nice slivers, not too big, not too small. More like a fajita cut, okay? Yes, you can do multiple things with this. You can stuff it, wrap it in bacon and roast it. You can grind it and put it into your hamburger meat. You can do a lot of this stuff. But this is a nice, easy way that you're gonna be able to feed your family. You know, it's good. Nice cuts, look at that. Call this the fajita cut in the industry. Who doesn't love fajitas? Okay, I'm gonna put my knife down for two seconds and finish off my roux before my, flour, my, before my butter turns a color. So I'm gonna mix the two fats together. Beautiful. Okay, just gonna get that to warm up a little bit more. I'm gonna finish cutting this up. And don't be afraid to cut it nice and thin, guys. You know, the thinner it is, the faster it'll cook, and the better it's gonna melt on your tongue. Any kind of strings like this, just cut them off. It's veins, or arteries, or connective tissue. It's all the stuff you don't want. You just don't want it. You can eat it, but it's chewy. What for? If you don't have to eat stuff that's chewy, then don't. Unless you like chewy. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Let me rinse out my gizzard meat chunks. They're so nice. Boom, there's one. Let's rinse out the heart. I'm just gonna rinse this one a bit more. Okay, there we go, perfect. 
right on. This is easy, guys. At this point, all you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of flour. Then clear off your spot here. Add your gizzards. Add your chicken hearts. Let's add our pork heart. Give it a little swirly swirl. Try to cover the meat in that flour base. Just gonna add my onions and garlic, my dehydrated mushrooms. Spread it out. Add a little bit of pepper, good pinch of salt in there, about three cups of water, and I'm going to add, I'm going to add one cup of our chicken feet stock. Look at that nice color through there, nice and clear. It's, you see my herbs. There we go. We're gonna bring that to a simmer. I'm gonna put a lid, bring that to a simmer. And at the end, I'm just gonna finish off with a little bit of cream. Mama's cooking experience. Kitchen and recipe ingredients provided by Seasons Pharmacy and Culinaria. 815 Lawrence Street, Sudbury. cooking experience. Okay, so now that our products are cooking in the pan, I want to show you how to manipulate and how to slice this liver. Here is my pork liver, and I'm telling you, look at this beautiful color. It's rich, it's dark, it just screams, eat me, I'm so healthy. Trust me. And this one here, our turkey liver, it's beautiful, it's got a nice color on there. But let's show you how to cut it. Okay, because a lot of people, back in the day, some moms would take these things and boil them and then cut them and then fry them. And people wonder why nobody likes liver. You can't eat boiled liver. You can, but I don't recommend it. So you take your, you take your liver, making sure that all of your uh, veins and stuff are sliced off, and they're real easy to slice off, guys. And just give it nice small, thin, thin cuts, okay? Nice, small, thin cuts, because you don't want it too thick. If it's too thick, it becomes chewy. It becomes, uh, the flavor can become overpowering, and nobody likes that. So I cut these ones in nice, thin slices. You know, I would say, one, two centimeters thick maybe, knife thick maybe, depends if your knife is thick. Now, liver does not have a grain, okay guys, so there's no, you can't think of it like if you're cutting a, a chunk of muscle meat. But take your knife on the side, slice it nice and thin. Now some people like to slice it when it's frozen because it's easier to slice, and that's true. But if you just, Gently let your knife do the work. Give some nice thick, not thick, nice thinner slices. Look at that, look at that, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 
So, how do I like liver? Mm, my liver preference has always been cooked with bacon fat and bacon and, well, honestly, guys, I had a gallbladder attack, so we're not going to be doing it that way. I want to teach you a nicer, cleaner way to eat. So I'm going to show you how to do it in butter. I know, but not as much butter. A fat's a fat. You can still use your bacon grease. You're going to get a little bit uh, different flavor from it. But I'm just going to go with butter for a nice, sweet, creamy flavor of the butter. I'm going to give it a nice slice. See, it's nice and easy. You know, there's no fuss, no muss with this stuff. Doo -doo -doo. Boop. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, oh, let me just cut this one here. And this one we're going to leave because uh, it's thin, but it's, it's really thin, but it's wide. So that's how you slice that. Let me remove all of this from here because this is the nice and fun, easy part. Turn your butter. Get yourself about half a cup of butter. Get yourself a nice pan. Put your flour on here. You can use a bowl. You can use whatever, but I use a pan. Some salt. Oops, my bad. Put in some pepper. Again, white pepper is the one you want to use. Okay. And this term is called dredging. All you're going to do is just dredge your, your meat into the flour. But what does dredging actually mean, Gates? So you're just going to take your meat, you're going to lightly coat it. There. Okay? It's just nice and light. And then you're just going to lay it into your pan. That's it. That's as easy. It's cheap. It's delicious. It's good for your body. You know, young ladies, when it's that time, this is what you want to eat. It's better for you. You'll feel better. Your moods will be better. And that's it, guys. Nice and simple. You see, nice and light coating. And how do you know when it's finished? You know when it's finished when there's a nice little crust on the side that doesn't take long. Don't cook it till it's hard. Cook it till it's nice and, nice and gentle. Nice and like where you have resistance without it being hard, you know? That's it. Put it in. There we go. And here, guys, we have finished off the liver. As you can see, what I did was I fried it off and it has a nice crispy coating on the outside, which is uh, made by the flour. But you want a crispy coating on the outside and soft texture on the inside. We would normally serve this with uh, mashed potatoes and gravy, probably some fried onions. So this one here you're going to enjoy. But I like to just pop them in like this. I finished off our hearts and gizzard sauce with some cream, some salt, and some fresh rosemary here. And I draped it on top of some rice. And I'm telling you, it's good, it's soft, it's delicious. Please give it a try. I would like to thank Sherry Dubois from the CocoBearFoundation.ca. She's been collecting donations now for mental health and drug addiction for Ontario kids. It's such a big thing that's happening here within our people that we really need to start focusing on there. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Eastlink Community TV and Seasons Pharmacy and Culinaria for letting us host our wonderful Mama G's Cooking Experience TV show here. Thank you and I hope you had a good time and I'll see you in our next show.